Hi friends, welcome to free online tech videos. My name is Ravi. I'm going to teach you the command called AT right now. Follow us on social networking sites. Facebook, Linux, Arcade is the page. LinkedIn, so Ravi Kumar is the profile name. Google Place, you can just enter Red Hat Enterprise Linux step by step guide. Twitter, at the rate Ravi Kumar 48. Website, you can visit arcade.co.in. Okay, so how we are going to use AT command? Okay, uh, in Linux, okay, how it is useful actually. So, the AT command is useful whenever you are um, saying, like, um, if you want to execute a command or any schedule, okay, one time in the sense any schedule you wanted to execute one time then at command is useful okay so how we are going to do that <coughs> let's go and see okay at command okay at command is used to schedule one time job there is no report repeat execution in the sense like cron tab if you use a cron tab you can use the same job uh, continuously like uh, if you schedule every day like or every one hour every 15 five minutes something like that but at command is only used to schedule one time job in a sense schedule it it will execute and exit that's it okay and at command allows fairly complex time specifications and extending times extended times and it, which means that you can execute any complex time specifications in AD but the only advantage is that you cannot repeat the same one okay it supports POS6 yeah, PO as a extended which means that portable operating system interface okay it is an IEEE 1988 standard okay which most of the applications support the same portable operating system interface okay so it accepts time in hours colon minutes to run a job at a specific time of day or suppose example if uh, I wanted to schedule a job at uh, 9 p.m. but the schedule I am doing at uh, 9 30 then what it takes is that it will take the 9 30 of that time like suppose I, when I am doing 9 p.m. at 9 30 then it takes tomorrow's day tomorrow's it assumes that you are scheduling for tomorrow okay you can also specify midnight uh, like uh, I wanted to specify no need to specify the time you can just specify midnight or uh, noon in the sense it's an afternoon okay tea time in the sense it's 4 pm it will execute today today in the sense in uh, today uh, starting time like 0 hours okay and next month next month in the sense if you are executing today so the next month same date is going to be executed okay if you are scheduling now then next month same time same day it's going to be executed okay giving a date of the form like this is the format you have to you can use to provide the date okay and we can also specify now place count in minutes hours days and weeks in the sense so from now this many minutes you can go ahead and from now this many hours after you can execute or from now this many dates after you can execute like that we can specify that format in this AT okay the next one is AT options okay AT options is that uh, if you provide if an M uh, before scheduling the job so what it do is that it just send an a completed information to the user so whenever wherever you are doing that so it just send an in, um, email to that user linux email user okay so if you type capital m in the sense at capital m then it never send an email to the user okay iphone f 
instead of uh, if you wanted to uh, schedule a job of uh, multiple times or some jobs okay you can just specify that in one to file one file then you can pass that file so it will take that input as a standard input okay you can also schedule some script files directly using the name f option okay so here iphone l is just like an atq option atq command is will just uh, list out the queue of the um, scheduled jobs okay or else you can also use at iphone l which will list the jobs okay at iphone r will remove the schedule so remove the schedule in the sense how you can remove is that at iphone r and provide the job number which job number you wanted to delete from the schedule then you can delete that schedule from the list or else you can also use atrm to remove the schedule job okay you can provide iphone v which will provide the version details of the at okay you can if you provide at iphone c and provide the particular job number then it will show you the content of the that scheduled job okay in the sense what is that script is in the background it's going to be execute that is going to be it will list out the entire content of that file okay and next one is what is the files at uses to uh, work in the sense what are the supporting files required to work at so one is uh, slash var slash pull slash ad so which is the path every job whenever you schedule one job it just creates some eight a zero 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 one some certain number so that is called as an a one job in a queue like that it is going to be created and there is in a spool in the spool also it just add some uh, supporting files okay so load average so it's just take this if load average is more or less then the job is going to be executed or not something like that okay these are a temporary file for uh, before uh, putting into the job is just uses the temporary files okay slash etc slash ad dot allow which is the name configuration file so that configuration file will use to uh, allow the user suppose say if you want to deny one particular user you wanted to allow particular user to execute the scheduled jobs using at you can use at allow and at deny okay how it's going to be work okay let's go and see some practical example on here okay so just open the console here and see how at can work okay how we are going to use that ad here okay so just say how we can use that ad space specify the time okay which time you would like to execute the job okay example say i want to execute at 10 30 pm in the sense 10 30 pm tomorrow it's going to be executed today 10 30 pm it's going to be execute okay 80 space 10 30 pm and it enter then it will ask you what you want to what you want me to execute at 10 30 you can uh, run multiple things or you can also say just saying that okay <coughs> testing 80 command f o t v okay and here you have to press control d okay then just type ad iphone l which is saying that the job number is 4 ad iphone l will list out your jobs so how many jobs are pending so i scheduled actually before 3 so one job was executed and this is the fourth job okay you can do like this or else you can also do like from now after one minute you can it, it will execute okay so so what it's going to be do is that okay now let's do like this okay i want to execute some testing eco testing something like that 
okay so 80 now okay place in the sense I'm going to add one minute here place one minute which means after one minute this is going to be executed echo okay testing something like this and um, AD command after one minute enter control D and you can see AD Q R A T L which is going to be show you okay so fifth job is already executed after one minute so uh, place one minute I given so in that it's executed already okay you can also verify here the job is executed okay like that you can specify midnight okay you can specify some date some time okay something like that you can also execute or you can also say tea time i want to execute it tea time okay tea time when today or tomorrow i want to execute it tomorrow okay so this is you can also do like this using an echo okay okay testing and the space and you can just pass that command so no need to space control d and uh, all the stuff it, it, it's just directly going to be created like this see so it's going to be add into the job schedule okay you can also specify something like uh, 80 i wanted to execute at um, 30 fast to 12 am something like that so you can specify okay uh, 12 am okay or 11 59 pm okay in the sense night then what is that december okay it's going to be execute so december 2018 like this also you can execute the job at that point so okay just saying that like happy new year then pass that to the pipe symbol so that the job will be executed okay there is an a error okay 31st we have to give okay ATFN L 31st night December is going to be executed 2359 hours. Okay, like that you can specify there are so many timings like uh, today, tomorrow, okay, uh, midnight, okay, uh, noon, okay, or uh, you can also use the time like that there are so many options you can utilize to schedule the jobs okay after one month after two months after one week after one year after two years after five years something like that also you can schedule the jobs in 80 but every job wherever you are executing that's going to be executed okay one time okay so one more example i'm just going to show you is that i wanted to execute it uh, 11 30 pm sorry 11 pm okay which date so which time you can also specify something like that suppose same i wanted to execute at um, 31st 12 2018 something like this also you can give the date it's going to be executed on that day okay as of now we see that so many jobs are schedule like four or five jobs are scheduled so you can see that what is the content in that okay just say at iphone c and provide the job name job number okay at iphone c you can see that so i schedule that job to say happy new year but what is going to be executed it's going to be run at c it's an script at run uid 0 jd 0 so mail to root so it's going to send some information to the root saying so so and so executed 
and this is all the script execution so how it is schedule something like this this is the script in the background is going to be executed to run the AT job okay if you want to schedule specific file using f and f you can also do it like this okay you can just specify the path of that file which is script file okay then you can specify the time example say testing dot uh, sh there is just some script okay like this and you can specify the time so which time you would like to execute okay maybe 10 55 am something like this you can execute the job okay and now so if you want to delete a job okay so uh, suppose say i wanted to delete a seventh schedule from here you can also do a t f and r and provide the job number which is going to be deleted from the list you can also use a t f and d also can work same like as a t l a t i from a t r m also you can use to delete the jobs or a t f and r or a t f and d also you can use a t q will list out the jobs here okay this is just an a t command so how we, how we are going to use it okay but what are the supporting files let i say that there is a name uh, supporting files is created right you can see that here what are the jobs i just uh, scheduled here so those are the jobs content here okay atf and l there are three jobs so there are the these are the three files for the schedules okay you can just look at that file and you can see the content same as like what we see on the at iphone c command okay like this you can use the at command to schedule one time jobs as a complex timings and extended timings it's suppose in a standard uh, 462 standards family uh, IEEE standard okay this is about the AT command okay so thanks for watching stay tuned